Hi everybody, this is Screen Chasers, and we are doing Minutemen on the movie The Words. About a writer at the peak of his literary success discovers the steep price he must pay for stealing another man's work. I am here with... Anthony Thomas. Bruce Thomas. And very special guest chaser... Calvin Gossett, a.k.a. DJ Instigator, number one DJ in Austin. Yeah! <laughs> Right on, so right I'm told. <laughs> Unfortunately, we are sneedless tonight, as Jermaine will not be with us. Boo. Boo. Uh, deep voices only. All right, let's get to this atrocity of a film. All right, this is Anthony Thomas, and uh, my chase on this film is, simply put, this. Uh, I would recommend waiting for this to come out on Netflix and streaming it. The only reason I'm even suggesting streaming it it's because if you can't fall asleep, you put this thing on, it'll knock you right out. Uh, what starts off as a complex approach to storytelling in a film through a three-part narrative ends up becoming a jumbled mess of boring rhetoric and a bunch of nonsense. All right, this is Bruce Thomas saying, uh, saying that I agree that you can stream it, you can rent it. But I did en- I liked it. I enjoyed it. And probably because of the fact that it took you in many directions and brought you back, I probably needed that, you know, being a little... Uh, ADHD. So yeah, I like that. I love the uh, and the three different stories. I, I I enjoyed all of them, but yeah, if they stopped on one or two of them, it would have did a lot better. So that's it. Well, <clears throat> in my opinion, I suggest you wait for HBO or TNT or USA or something because you need commercials to entertain you during this movie. The movie itself, I mean, it was okay. I mean, I couldn't get with all the movies in one within one movie. Um, felt like Quentin Tarantino smoked a lot of pot and then helped out the director with this film because it was everywhere, you know. But it was okay. It's probably worth watching. Not worth spending money too much money to watch it though. This has been Green, and I say stream this movie because uh, it's a good lesson for filmmakers about how you can take a really great concept and f it up. Uh, really, really nicely. Then also, uh, Jeremy Irons' performance is, is pretty good. But you know what? You can see him in a, a lot of other great movies where he's badass. Die Hard with the Vengeance. True that. Man with an iron. Yeah. Bitch. All right, y'all. This has been Minutemen. Thank you for listening to Screen Chasers yet again. We love you. We're out. Dope. Bruce! Yeah, damn! <laughs>